All right, all right. Hello, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to Hissy Fit. Today, we're going to be duking out high end versus drugstore highlighters. Everybody loves the glow, so let's see which one delivers. So, for our high end highlighter, we're going to be looking at the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter. I believe that this was a part of their spring or summer launch. Let's talk about the packaging first. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's so fun and girly. It reminds me of like a locket from a, being a little girl or something like that. It's got a magnetic closure so you don't have to worry about sticking your nails into any tiny little clasps or anything to get it open. I know that that can fuck up a manicure pretty easily. Um, it's got a mirror inside which is always a good thing. And then here is the pan. You've got like little angles like a prism inside of there. And there's the Too Faced TF that's like embossed into it I guess would be the word. But we've used a little bit of the product already so you can't really see it sorry about that it says that this product weighs nine grams take into account some packaging weight and everything like that um you probably get a couple grams worth of product definitely not nine though i wouldn't say unless they do the weights based upon the amount of product that they put in but i don't know i'm used to seeing grams in a different type of measurement not makeup as for the color, it's a peachy pinky sheen, really romantic, I think it's really sweet, and the color is called Ray of Light. And this product retails for $30. Now for the drugstore alternative that we're going to be looking at, this is the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. Pretty simple drugstore packaging, nothing super duper fancy or crazy. It definitely reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. Obviously that's nothing new, but I want to draw attention to these two colors right here, the pink and the silver color. I feel like mainly the pink is the most comparable to the Too Faced product. Mix in a little bit of the silver maybe for an extra pow. It says that you get 7 grams worth of product, again take into account the weight of the packaging and everything like that, you probably get like a couple grams product. And this retails for $7. So now we get to test out the products and we get to glow, 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 glow. We're gonna go in with Too Faced first because I'm so excited to use this product. I'm using a MAC 224 brush, which is technically an eyeshadow brush, but I like it for highlighter because it's floofy, it's small, and I feel like it doesn't put down too much product. I don't like when there's like a very blatant line of highlighter on the face and I feel like a fluffy brush prevents that. So I'm just dipping it into the product, pretty good amount, and let's go in, baby. Can you guys see that? Mmm. Mmm, just a little bit more, because I like it. Okay, so the color is definitely a peachy tone. It's got some gold and silver reflex in it, which I think is really cool. I like that it's pinky though, I think that makes it look really romantic and girly and I'm really into the whole packaging thing with it too, so I really like this whole romance thing that they've got going on, even if they didn't mean to do that. So Too Faced is cool, but we gotta test out our dupe as well. Okay guys, let's move on to drugstore. I'm gonna grab my Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick and I'm gonna specifically try and grab this little pink shade right here. Obviously these other shades right here don't read peachy goldish whatever pinky like we have in the other one. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush and really just focus it on this one pink area right here. Now that did drop a good amount of product. I have shimmer on my pants. If that's a problem with anybody, I'm not a huge fan of it, but you know, $7 at the drugstore. And let's see on the other cheek. Wow, this one already is a lot brighter, a lot more blinding, I would say. The Too Faced product takes a bit more of a neutral shimmery approach whereas this one is just ready to glow it's ready to glow they're both blending out really nicely but like for this product for the makeup revolution highlighter already i don't feel like i need to go in with a second layer i feel like that first layer did a pretty good amount so you can see that this cheek is probably a bit more subtle i can't necessarily see the other cheek in the monitor but i'll flip and i feel like this one's probably a lot more blinding is probably the only word I can think of. Like, I feel like this is a subdued highlight, which I don't know if I like more than this one, because obviously it's fun to shine and shimmer, but I think that just because I'm kind of like a subdued type chick when it comes to my makeup, um, I think I might like this one a little bit better. So in the battle of the highlights, which one takes the cake? I'm a little bit torn right now because they're each 
beautiful in their own way. I would say, honestly though, if you're trying to get a great product and not spend a huge ton of money, the Makeup Revolution highlighter might be a really great option for everybody because it's $7. Not only do you get this pink shade, which is pretty comparable to the Too Faced color, but you get this entire brick of stuff. So if you want to do a bit more of a bronzy highlight, you can totally do that. You can use these each as individual eyeshadows if you wanted to, but I want to say that for $7 you might get a little bit more bang for your buck with this Makeup Revolution highlighter rather than the Too Faced one. And there's nothing wrong with the Too Faced highlighter. I really liked it. I really liked how it blended. Obviously I'm a huge fan of the packaging and of the color, but this is more of an understated highlight. If you want to blind people, I wouldn't say that this is really going to do the trick unless you wet it and then applied it and did some blending and stuff like that. You do have to layer it up a little bit if you want a super dramatic highlight. I do still think it's pretty, but comparing the two, you pretty much get the same color in this one as well as a bunch of other colors than, you know, just this one single color in this really cute palette for $30. All right, guys, that does it for this week's video. Make sure you subscribe to Hissy Fits so that you don't miss any more of the videos we upload throughout the week. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed comparing a drugstore and a high-end product. Leave some comments down below as to if you've tried these two products or what other makeup items you would want me to check out that are drugstore or high-end that we can compare. And I will see you guys next week in a new video. Bye!